people with epilepsy. You may never know who they are because millions of people live with some form of this disorder and still lead normal lives. Most epileptic seizures can be controlled or prevented with medication. Most, but not all. For some people with epilepsy, the control is not complete and an occasional seizure may still occur any time, any place, without warning. Then it's important to the person with epilepsy that someone there on the scene recognizes what is happening and knows what to do. Hey, Tony. What happened? I don't know. Help me get him down to the floor. Here, honey, my jacket? What's that so important? I think maybe we better call an ambulance. Has he had seizures before? If he has, I never knew about it. You want to move that chair back? Folks, can you move back just a little bit? We'll have to clear this area. Just keep him, keep him some air there. Don't you think you should put something in his mouth? No, no. If we do that, he might break his teeth on whatever we put in there. There, I think he's going to be all right. Now, if you want to, if you want to grab his arm and his knee there and help roll him up on his side here, we'll make sure that he's breathing okay. There we go. We'll keep his air passage clear. I think it's just about over now. I think he has. Yes, he does have a tag on a medical alert. Yes, yeah, says he has epilepsy. I never knew. Yeah, well, he'll be all right. We did what we should have. We got him down on the floor where we won't fall and hurt himself. We're making sure that he's breathing okay. That's the main thing. Yeah, a seizure like this just has to run its course. The immediate first aid for a tonic-clonic seizure. Protect the person from injury by getting them down on the floor. Place something soft under the head. Don't put anything in their mouth and turn the person on their side to make sure they can breathe properly. Usually the seizure is over by the time an ambulance arrives. It's still important to call for help unless someone with the person has had experience with their seizures. The emergency medical team will evaluate the person's condition, tend any injuries, and check for any after effects that might be a problem. He has a tag on, says he has epilepsy. Did anybody see him fall? Oh, we helped him out of the booth. Did he hit his head? No. No. What did Brenda do? Yeah. Give me his name. Tony. Do you, you know what it looked like? Do you know his address? 1644 South 11th Street. Did you take any medications? I don't know. Okay, how well do you know him? You know his medical friend? No. You know his medical history at all? No. Any diabetic problems, seizures, um, anything you're aware of? Nothing that I know of, no. Okay. Tell me what you saw, what happened here. Well, we were eating and he just started to stiffen up and, sh and shake. Did he start shaking on any particular side, anywhere is more than another, or describe a little bit to me. Well, I guess on his on his left side. 130 over 50 on blood pressure. And pulse is 120 in regular. He hurt himself at all, you know? He looked like he hurt no. himself at all? Respiration. No. 24. No. What's his name? Tony. 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 Tony, how you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah. You OK? Yeah, yeah I'm OK now. Okay. You know what happened to you? I guess, I guess I had a seizure. Have you had seizures before? You hurt, do you hurt anywhere? No, I'm okay. Are you taking medications at all for these seizures? Uh -huh. You know what type of medication you're on? Yeah, Dilantin. How's your mouth? You, your t did you Dilantin bite your tongue? Yeah, we'll, we'll get the stretcher. No, you did. Okay. He's diaphoretic. Do you know your doctor's name, Tony? Uh, Dr. Munson. Feel any better, Tony? Uh, I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm in the ambulance. You know what happened? 
happened? I had a seizure in the restroom. This has happened to you before? Yeah, it happens sometimes. You never have an impediment at once or a seizure right on top of you? If the person has already been diagnosed as having epilepsy and is under treatment, taking them to a hospital may not be necessary. Following the seizure, there is often a period of time known as the post-ictal state, when the person is confused or disoriented. 132 over 60. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm okay now. No weakness. But after a while, if they seem to have recovered and someone is there to be responsible for them, the person can usually be released at the location. The medical team may require them to sign a release to take responsibility for the decision not to go to a hospital. We're going to have to have you sign this report. All it states is that we offer you treatment and transportation and you refuse it. Sure. A post-ictal state. A what? A post-ictal state, which could mean he's confused and disoriented. In that case, they probably would insist on taking him to the hospital. But if they're sure that he's functioning normally again, they might decide it's not necessary. How do you know so much about this? About a year ago, we found out that Kathy has epilepsy. Kathy? Kathy has epilepsy? She has seizures like these? Not like these, but she was having seizures. We don't know how long it had been going on. Her third grade teacher discovered it in school. Erin, would you read the next paragraph, please? Feels like to eat fish, the zookeeper ex explained, that sometimes we can get them to do tricks. Tigers don't have to do tricks. They just sit and eat the raw meat. Notice, boys and girls, the quote marks around the sentence where someone is talking. All right, Kathy, would you go on reading, please? See how it like to eat fish. Kathy, you're in the wrong place. Would you try to pay better attention next time? Absence or petty mal seizures are subtle and may go unnoticed. A young child may only be aware that something has been missed and may be unable to recognize or explain that he or she is having one or more blackouts for small periods of time. For the child having an absence or petty mal seizure, this is how it may appear. Aaron, would you read the next paragraph, please? The zookeeper explained sometimes tigers don't have to do any tricks. They just eat the raw meat. Very good. Boys and girls, notice the quote marks where someone's talking. Kathy, would you go on the next paragraph, please? Epileptic seizures occur because of excessive electrical discharges in the brain. An electroencephalogram, the process of recording brain waves, is one of the major tools the physician can use for diagnosis. Once epilepsy has been diagnosed, medication can be prescribed to control a majority of seizures. We had no idea you were going through that experience. How's she doing now? Uh, She's on daily medication, so uh, in the last few months, she's only had a few seizures. And the school has been a lot of help, too. Well, everyone there knows that she has epilepsy and a seizure may occur, so they make sure that she keeps up with the rest of the class. Then, if Kathy feels like she might have missed something, she has a friend next to her who can show her where they are in the work and help her catch up. It's a lot different for everyone when you know what's happening. Sometimes no one can know what's happening because everyone with epilepsy has a first seizure and the first is likely to be an unsettling experience for everyone.
Go get Mrs. Dennison. Hey, I'll get her. Look, what is she doing? Mary? Mary? What's wrong with her? I haven't any idea. You better go back and get an ambulance. There's an emergency number on the phone. Mary? Many people feel that they know what a seizure looks like, but there are over 20 different types of seizures, many of them with unfamiliar characteristics. A complex partial seizure, like this, could be mistaken at first for some other condition, such as a mental breakdown or a drug problem. Most seizures have to run their course, and the main thing to do until it's over, or until medical help arrives, is to protect the person from injury. As I know, the women, you know, said they kind of looked up from their work and saw her stumbling around and kind of picking at her clothes and, uh, you know, mumbling, and that's when they came to get me. Mary, you recall any of this? Can you recall that you were stumbling around, they say you're real confused? No. Anything like this ever happened before? Well, there's nothing in here to indicate any kind of a special medical problem. Do you know what date is today? Um, December uh, 20th. Do you know where you are? Okay. You've been uh, in an accident lately or hit your head or anything like that? No? Okay. Did you take any medications for anything? I think we should take her down. Yeah, she should be seen. Okay, Mary, I think we're going to take you down to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. Okay, Mary, I really think it's important that you go down and get examined. This has never happened to you before. We should find out what caused it. Okay, why don't you go down? Will you go down with us? Okay. Okay, why don't we go? Leading a normal life means having the chance to work. For the person with epilepsy, holding a job requires the acceptance and support of both the employer and others in the person's working environment. Now, you know, Mary's coming back to work next week. She's been gone for a medical leave for testing, and I guess they found she has epilepsy. Epilepsy? Epilepsy. Mm -hmm. Now, you remember that seizure she had here a couple weeks ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now they have that kind of thing under control. She's on medication, and we don't really expect that thing to happen again. Huh? But what are we going to do if it does happen again? Okay, it, it do? could happen again. Now, if, if it does, then this is the kind of the thing I'd like to talk to you about. I think the most important thing is that we don't panic. So stay right at your job, and one of you go over to her and kind of just be with her, you know. Talk to her very quietly and stay with her. And then one of you come down and get me. And if I'm not in the office, get Mrs. Taylor. Now, you know, we all know Mary's a good worker. And we've just run into a problem here. And I really think that if we work on it together, we can solve it. Okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. Epilepsy. Millions of people have it. And living with this disorder will become a little easier as more people learn what epilepsy is all about and are able to provide the acceptance and support that people with epilepsy need to lead normal lives.